Hello, everyone. This is Leslie Pope of The Beatsmith, creative direct, uh, creative designer, here with uh, the other half of Team Leslie, Leslie Rogowski, the creative director at The Beatsmith. Good old Team Leslie. How's everybody doing today? It's a nice, feels almost like a springy day today. Hopefully the weather's nice where everybody else is as well. And today's project is called The Roundabout. It is a bracelet that uses uh, super duos. Hi, Betty. Super duos. 11s, 15s, and a couple of symbol findings. Um, this bracelet has uh, the um, Eladio uh, connector for Super Duos and a, either a um, Vitali or a Varati bead substitute. And I did all four um, color, uh, all four uh, metal finishes. I did uh, rose gold, gold, antique silver, and antique brass. And I actually can't say which one I like the most. Um, I, I like all of them. And it's a component piece. Things that I love to uh, love to do, as people know, and um, it actually turns out to be it turned out to be a lot faster than I thought. And I'm also using my tablet today, so I've got a nice big work surface for everyone uh, for a change. So hopefully, people will be able to see what I'm doing. And as always, the pattern is available at thebeadsmith.com forward slash I love beads and the categories will be super duos and um, symbol findings and here is the pattern it's uh, there's only like a page and a half of instructions the page of illustrations as you see it's not even a full page of illustrations. And going forward, we also have a list of all the colors of everything that's used in the project. Uh, someone asked us for that, and we were happy to oblige, and we did. So, without further ado, let's get into the project. So I'm going to move my bracelets out of the way. They're not going very far, though. And as you can see, here are all the supplies, which aren't much. Size 11s, size 15s, super duos. The brass ones here are the, um, are the Vitali because they're kind of flat on the top. But the other bead substitute is called the Veridi, and that has like a little little oval in the middle. Um, I didn't have enough of the silver, so I'm using the brass. And here's the Alato uh, connector. And uh, the only other thing you're going to need is, uh, these are the soldered, uh, soldered closed jump rings. You're going to need regular jump rings and a clasp, a clasp of your choice. And I just sort of went the gambit. I have toggles, I have um, ball and socket, I used uh, some uh, lobster claws, I used whatever I happened to have on hand, and uh, six pound fire line. Here's my lovely thread snips, and my uh, micro, uh, my micro fine pliers, which I really won't be using today, but um, I normally do. Um, thanks, Betty. You can find the ring under um, 
Uh, I think the, it's called Well Spoken. It's also um, on the, um, in the I Love Beads section. I did this a couple of weeks ago, I think. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to start with uh, about 18 inches of um, a fire line. And we're going to uh, start with a super duo, a 15, two super duos. Nope, I'm chasing my beads around the mat here. Another 15, and I actually did check all my holes before I actually started this. So I normally say that, and I didn't say it. So, And then uh, one of your bead substitutes, and when you thread them on, when you thread the second one on, you want to make sure that um, they're going to both be... Um, uh, facing up. Okay. And then two more super duos and another 15. So this is one pass. And then we're going to do this again. You're going to pick up one super duo, a 15, two super duos, Another 15, your second, your second bead substitute, and I laid it that way so I can make sure that they're both facing up in the direction that they're supposed to face, right? 15, two more super duos, and one more 15. Okay, then you're going to bring them all down to the end. You don't need much of a tail because you're just going to weave it in. And you're going to uh, tie two square knots to form a circle out of your beads. Am I in the right place? Where am I? I'm not. Oh, there we go. Okay, and so... After you do this, here's your, here's your loop. And normally I would stand here and sew back through everything and then do the step up, but I'm not going to waste the time on camera, but you just sew around away from the knot and you're going to come up to your, what is that? Your fourth super duo and you would um, do your, your, your step up because your thread's going to be going in the second direction. So like a TV show, a cooking TV show, I have already done that. So, ta-da! You're going to think that I just did everything I said I did. So we're going to start the second row, and basically it's a two-row thing. So we're going to pick up a 15 and one of your allottos and it sits, it's going to sit right there on that super duo and you're going to sew through, whoops, I might have to put this down on the board to do that. You're going to sew through the end, the connector and the super duo come on i get them all lined up this will probably <laughs> this will probably be the hardest part <laughs> come on baby there we go hold everything in place and try to get through in one one shot and i did it yay Okay, then you're going to pick up another 15. Yeah, one of those days, huh, Leslie? Ha, ha, ha. And then we're going to pick up some 11. So we're going to pick up one 11 and sew through the next super duo. 
Then we're going to pick up two 11s and sew through the sub. There we go. And then we're going to do that on the other side. Chasing my beads around my mat. There we go. Two more. Then one more. And then a 15. And we're going to add the second Eladio connector. Because this is how the bracelet is going to be connected from here on out. So the same thing, just try to line everything up and sew through all at one time. Got it. Because you're working, not only are you working with uh, metal, which doesn't give, you're also working on a curve, which can be tough sometimes. So I've added the second Eladio. And then we're going to put our 11s in, and the component is finished. And as always, I sew through everything once again, just for security. I always say that, you know, thread is, is probably the most inexpensive thing that you will do when you're beading, right? So... Why not use as much of it as you want? And so now we're back at the beginning. Hi, Kim. And like I said, I would just sew back through everything for security. But I'm not going to take the time to do that. So I'm going to sew through a couple of beads. Hi, Bianca. And just make a knot here so I can get rid of this thread. Get that out of the way so you don't have any extra thread in the way. So that is the first roundabout component. And so to do your next components you will do sort of the same thing you will do your first row turn it into a circle start your second row and add one of the alados connectors and then you're going to connect through your second one off of your first so I just did something wrong here. Hold on a second, people. I went too far. Okay. So you're going to line that up so it's exactly opposite of your other connection and just sew through like you did the other one. If I can get my... Oh, really? Okay. We're going to have to do this the hard way here. It seems. Okay. Now I'm going to go through the Super Duo. There we go. And back out the other hole of the connector. And don't... I, 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 I. Sorry. Here comes one of my cats. <laughs> and as you see, you now have a connection between your first component and your second component. And we're going to finish this off. So I'm going to pick up another 15. So through the next Super Duo. All right. And then add my 11s. The first one is 111. Then the next one. That's two 11s going through the substitute. Back to two 11s. And my last 11. And we're back at the start of the component. 
and we have the two components connected. And you would just uh, continue doing that until you get your bracelet long enough. I did four because that's enough for my, my wrist. And by the time we put the uh, connectors on the end, it was a little short of like six and a half inches of just the beadwork. So let me show through a couple of beads. Get this out of the way. Make a knot just to, so nothing slips on me while I'm doing the final thing here. Okay, we're going to act like I went all the way around and sewed that all the way around. And I'm going to snip off the thread just to get it out of my way. So once you have all the components that you need, you will then do, then add your connector on the other side. So my little trick for this is to cut a new piece of thread, put a stop bead on it, and we're going to do the signature Team Leslie add a solder jump ring on your end so you don't have to worry about something coming loose. Pick up my Super Duo, sew out the other side, since this is what it's supposed to be for. And then what I do is I pick up four 15s, one, oops, one, two, boop, three, four, and I'm going to sew through the top hole of the Super Duo. It's a little fidgly at the moment, but you can tighten it up later, okay? And then to add to add the um, solder jump ring, I'm going to pick up two 15s and an oops, pick up two 15s and an 11. And my closed jump ring, add that on, and then you're just going to sew back through the 11, not anything else, just the 11. And I just pulled my, my thread out of my needle. Let me needle my thread instead of thread my needle. Alrighty. Then we're going to pick up two more 15s and then we're going to sew in the opposite direction of the thread so it makes a loop over the tip of the Super Duo. Then we're going to pick up four more 15s. And we're going to sew back through everything. So we're going to go through the connector, the Super Duo, out the other side. And then we're going to sew through everything. So we're going to sew through all six of the 15s. There we go. Had to do them two at a time. Up through the 11, back through the solder jump ring, back through the 11, and through the 615s on the other side. We're not going through the, the super duo hole anymore. Just all the beads on the outside of the super duos. 
Where am I? And one more. And then this is something I normally don't do, but it worked really well. You're going to take the stop bead off of your tail. And you're going to tie two square knots. And it's nice and secure and very firm. Um, if you're a little concerned about it, you can put some glue on it if you want. But I'm just tying like two or three square knots in the tail and the and then you can just sew through everything again and snip off your working thread and your tail thread oops I'm, I'm uh, trying to oh there we go I have to get through the super duo and you would go to the other end of your bracelet and do the same thing. And that is what I did on this bracelet. There's just that one little super duo on the end with the starter jump ring. And then you put your regular jump ring on and whatever part of your clasp that you want to do. And so this side just has the starter jump ring and the regular jump ring that you would then just hook your lobster claw to and there's your bracelet so ladies and gents that is my roundabout super duo bracelet pretty fast huh pretty fun and with lots of fabulous super duo colors to choose from you could probably you know make anything any anything you want i did have someone ask um if you could make each each little circle a different color why not it could be a real stash buster because as you see you don't need a lot of beads to do it and I just love, love using the symbol findings. It's just so elegant to add that extra bit of metal into your, into your beadwork. So after two years, I'm still way hyped up on it. And probably in the future, you will continue to see more projects with, um, with the symbol metal elements in it. So I want to tell everybody to stay safe. The pandemic is almost over and we can all get back to seeing each other and beating together. But in the meanwhile, you can find all of these fabulous beads and the symbol Metal elements, fire line, pliers, snips at your favorite bead reseller. They love you. We love you. We love beads. And everybody stay safe until we meet again. Take care, everyone. Bye.